But here we go, then round two of this bacon something in our runaway title fight and uh, the 31 year old John Honey, well this is probably his last opportunity for 27 year old Nathan Ward, maybe not. But Nathan did finish the first round quite well, uh, although Honey started it, I think the better of the two. And uh, Nathan Ward, fairly statuesque at times, but uh, he's not bad on his feet. And Honey's uh, assumption that Ward wasn't much of a mover could be wrong. And again, the combination's coming in here from Honey. Good at this, isn't he? Very good at this. Well, it doesn't seem to bother Ward one ounce. And well, Ward is reactive, really. Honey is proactive. And again, combination punches from John Honey. Very impressive. Having said that, Ward's done now. And then Honey fights himself out of the corner. Terrific stuff. Totally uh, absorbing contest this. Well, Ward trying to uh, do likewise, but uh, just coming up a wee bit short. Honey boxing very snappily. Speed, of course, can be the essence of this weight. trying to work the body and take away uh, Honey's legs Ooh, nice left foot there for Nathan and once again Honey thought himself out of trouble took another left foot though Honey just getting the edge, isn't he? Right for the sort of footwork there from John Honey. Wins round two, just about. Nathan Moore from Reading has won 11, lost 2. And uh, John Honey from Basingstoke. He's had 26 fights now, twice on an area title challenge at Light Welter and Welter. Lost both on points to Francis Power and Peter McDonough. I was there for the McDonough fight, and this is round 3 of a scheduled 10. Well, John Honey just about nicked the second round for me, but Ward came on quite well at times. And uh, the irony is that Honey gets off to a good start and Ward a good finish. If uh, only Ward would get into things slightly sooner, things may be different. Well, he looks like he might do here. And Nathan Ward comfort on the body, Honey going to the head. And these uh, combinations from Honey are very eye-catching. Having said that, there's been some very eye-catching work also from Nathan Ward. And 
well Ward, the crowd screaming for him as he tries to go to work here well once again I've got to say you know Ward gets his opportunities but Honey just appears to have the edge well, that's a very awkward uh, fighting a previous sparring partner and uh, very few jabs being thrown here at all and they tend to set a fighter up by both these lads of course but it's just looking to get close and bang away nice body punch again from Nathan and I've got a feeling that one hurt and Ward trying to capitalise now Get a good body punch and he's got him on the floor in round three, a right to the body. So there you are then, Nathan Ward has possibly found uh, the answer to this. And that is, uh, well he possibly suspected that Honey was a bit weak downstairs, I don't know. Two more heads in the way. It's probably the best round that... Uh, Nathan Ward has had early, early. Those two guys there. so it all starts with the left foot to the body for Nathan Ward then a decent right and it looks like he's won it on a two point margin Round four then, and Nathan Ward, first part to him, who had Honey on the floor in round three. From the right hook to the body. So John Honey, well, he's got to try and repay the favour if he possibly can. Because at the moment, it's dead level on my card. At 28 points apiece, with Ward taking the first two. And then, sorry, my apologies, so Honey taking the first two, then Ward the third by the two-point margin. Naturally, of course, there's uh, a lot of chat in uh, gyms, in sparring sessions, and uh, Honey may well have said that his weakness uh, is the body to Nathan Ward. Who knows? If he did, it may have been a mistake. But he's certainly very zippy, isn't he, John Honey? And he wants to stay away from the ropes and away from the corners. Nice left hand there from Honey. Well, once again, Ward goes to work. Body and head. And again, terrific stuff here for John Honey. Beautiful work there for John Honey. Oh, beautiful left hands. Cracking fight this has developed into. Well, fully fitting of a sudden area title fight, this one. And there's been a lot of good fighters that held this time for Chip Chusby. And, uh, well, Honey now needs to keep away from the ropes in the corners. That's why he's getting caught. Very, very sharp. And 
Nathan Ward is incredibly determined. Honey, don't forget, has been there, done it, got the t-shirt. He's fought for two sub titles previously, like Welter and Welter. And yet to win one, and this, he thinks, is his moment. Certainly winning this round.